I'm Scott, and I'm an engineer at Rambus. A high-performance server is required of handling thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of simultaneous connections with users all over the world. And each time a user connects to a server, whether it's with a web browser or whether it's with a cell phone, each time they connect, the server has to start a small process to service that user. And each one of these processes on the server requires a small amount of memory. And when you add up all of the memory requirements of these thousands of users, it ends up being that the amount of DRAM that you actually have inside of a server is directly related to the number of users that a server can actually accommodate. One of the bottlenecks that we have identified to achieving really high performance at really low power is the power efficiency of the physical interface on the DRAM chip itself. And this means that your power efficiency of your system has to increase by an order of magnitude in order to get that performance without blowing your power budget. Disaggregation is one of the crazier ideas I've been working on over the last several years. Right now, a DRAM chip, a high-performance DRAM chip, does everything. A DRAM is really good at storing a huge amount of data at very low cost. But what a DRAM isn't so good at is delivering that data at really good power efficiency to the microprocessor that needs it. And if you can imagine disaggregation in terms of a baseball team, there's not a single person on a baseball team that does everything. You have specialists. You have people that are experts in pitching, specialists that can play first base. It has specialists that can hit home runs. So if you look at a DRAM and say, I want to store a lot of data and I want to transmit that data at really high performance to a microprocessor, it seems a little awkward to actually ask a single chip to do all of that. So disaggregation is the concept of removing the high performance interface off of the DRAM and actually building that high performance interface in a different piece of silicon. So keep the DRAM what it's good at, which is storing data and build another chip that's really good at transmitting data at really good power efficiency. And now through advanced 3D packaging, I can actually recombine those two pieces of silicon together to form a single device again, essentially giving me the best of both worlds. I'm Scott, and I'm a Rambus inventor.